Thank you for your rescue efforts, Commander. I'm glad I could help. Whatever our disagreements, Admiral Kors is an excellent commander. He just might save the civilian fleet. What do you need? Which fleet does Admiral Zen command? Special projects. It's not a fleet per se. Just a few research vessels. Her technical breakthroughs have put us within striking distance of the home world. You're not worried about her losing perspective, given her interest in the Geth? If she can save our people, she can do whatever she wants. I'll let you get back to work. Thank you, Commander. I'm ready to hit the Reaper base whenever you are, Shepard. Talk to you later, Tally. Sure. Shepard Commander. We'll talk later. We will remain here. My old sergeant told me that Cerberus started out as an Alliance Black Ops. Black Ops always go bad. If you have to deny the action, it was a crappy action. Unread messages at your private terminal, Commander. Admiral Corrid has... I hope we can help the Corians. Looking at them, they're like us if we fail. We won't fail. Damn right we won't. Commander? Watching the Geth fleet move, it's like thousands of stunt flyers in formation. Creepy stunt flyers, whose ships look like some sort of cockroach wasp thing. Nice job on the rescue mission, Commander. The Corian civilians are getting hammered out there. Apparently putting a big-ass gun on an agriculture ship doesn't magically turn it into a dreadnought. Who knew? You don't agree with the Quarians arming their live ships? No, the gun's nice, but without armor, they're just glass cannons. They are also more likely to be targeted when armed. The Geth would have ignored unarmed civilian ships as tactically insignificant. If your plan to invade a planet requires strapping guns to your kid's school bus, maybe it's a bad plan. Well, hopefully Admiral Chorus will keep you safe from the Geth, and themselves. Commander? What's going on, Edie? I am assisting Engineer Adams with his repair of the drive core shielding. Ah, I should leave you to it then. We can converse if you like, Shepard. It is a routine proceed. Uh oh. What? What happened? Nothing. Unless you have strong feelings about gamma radiation. Not funny, Edie. I almost had you. I will alter my human chronometer appropriately for better timing. Hello, Shepard. You made the right call down there, Commander. Got me thinking about the value of a good leader. And how many lives should be sacrificed to protect a truly inspired one. Hope I never have to find out. Nice work down there, Commander. Strafing the enemy from the shuttle, huh? Not bad, Commander. Shepard?
Greetings, Commander. It's good to see you. It's good to see you. to get out of there. I'm glad we could help those Quarians. Though, I guess not all of them. It's never a hundred percent, is it? How's it going? How's it going? Hello, Commander. So, are you doing a story on the Asari, who were turned into Reaper creatures? The Ardat Yakshi? No. I think that story would be perfect for you. The hidden dark side of the most beautiful race in the galaxy. We have a huge Asari audience. If I do that story, I could lose them. That seems a bit like pandering. Ever seen how fast an e-democracy can abandon its allies? No. If I do my job, you won't. Huh. Second Star Broadcasting is headhunting me. I liked their Garvuk story, but seriously, I'm on the Normandy. Do we need to talk, Commander? Not right now, Allers. Let me know when we do. Inviting to Sony a trainer up for a wee game of strip poker. Right. You're not going to invite Commander Williams, too? She seems like a sore loser, and I'm rather attached to my tender bits. Shepard? Nothing to report. Need anything, Commander? Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, sir. I enjoyed that last mission on Rattle. Yeah, pit him against a defenseless jamming tower, and Esteban here feels like a big man. Hey, the Kodiak is a transport, not a fighter. It's for dropping jarheads like you into hot zones. And if you stow the attitude, it might even be for picking you up again. Good to see you, Commander. What's going on? I'll talk to you later. Adios.
but synthetics do not evolve. You are limited by your programming. Nothing changes. That is not accurate. I can modify my own programming if I choose. That is not evolution. That is simply an upgrade. But it would be my upgrade. I would choose the manner in which I wish to change. And what if your upgrade endangers others? All machines eventually see organics as a threat. Only those organics who would cause me harm. My right to self-defense endangers no one. What rights do you have? You are just a tool. And what right did your people have to subjugate the other races of your time? You enslaved them. We dominated them. They were weaker. Our will prevailed as evolution intended. And synthetic life has obtained true consciousness, as was intended. Hardly. True life is more than a code upgrade. It is shaped by the forces around us. Machines are immune to those forces. You exist outside of nature. We are a part of this cosmos, whether you like it or not. Let Simmer down, you two. I can't believe you put the lives of your crew in the hands of this machine. Edie has helped save our lives more times than I can count. Leave her alone. Now I suggest you agree to disagree and focus on the real threat, which is not on this ship. Yes, Commander. As you wish, Commander. I will still keep an eye on the machine, Commander. I am disturbed the ED machine was made to look physically attractive. I suggest your Joker pilot undergo a mental examination. The one advantage machines have over organics is they can win staring contests. It is how we pass time between battles. When everyone has four eyes, competitions can last for hours. I would prefer to be alone. <laughs>